Meanwhile, another porn star Alana Evans has corroborated a story that Donald Trump and Stephanie Clifford had a relationship and they tried to get her to join them for a threesome. Another day, another scandal about Donald Trump made headlines. It's revealed that a lawyer for President of the United States arranged a $130,000 payment to a former porn star a month before the 2016 election to prevent her from going public with story about a consensual sexual encounter with Trump. The Wall Street Journal broke the story on Friday, January 12. The payment allegedly came as the adult film actress, Stephanie Clifford aka Stormy Daniels was discussing sharing her account with ABC's Good Morning America and online magazine Slate. Daniels reportedly was also in contact with the Daily Beast to share her story about her involvement with the then-Republican presidential candidate, but Daniels pulled the plug. To the New York Times, Jacob Weisberg, editor-in-chief of the Slate Group, says that Daniels forwarded him a draft amendment to the original agreement in which the parties were referred to by pseudonyms. In the draft, Clifford was referred to as Peggy Peterson and was represented by a lawyer named Keith Davidson, while the other parties were referred to as David Dennison and David DeLuce. However, Clifford later stopped responding to Weisberg's text messages. A source from ABC's GMA with knowledge to negotiations between the show and Clifford also said the talks came to an abrupt end. Meanwhile, another porn star Alana Evans has corroborated the claims about Trump's alleged affair with Clifford. She even claims that the two tried to get her to join them for a threesome. Their encounter reportedly took place in July 2006 at the American Century Celebrity Golf Championship at the Edgewood Tahoe in State Line, Nevada, a year after Trump married Melania. Evans tells the Daily Beast, it was the second day of our trip. We were in a hotel with a tattoo parlor, and the hotel had huge windows so you could see people outside. When I saw Stormy, I was like WTF. I opened the door, called out to her, and she joined me while, my colleague, got a tattoo. She goes on recalling, Stormy said she met Donald Trump and then tells me about the golf tournament and how she's supposed to hang out with him later that night, and she invited me. Stormy said Donald knew exactly who she was and wanted to meet her. Later that evening, Evans reportedly kept getting calls from Daniels asking her to have some fun with them. Stormy calls me four or five times, by the last two phone calls she's with Donald and I can hear him, and he's talking through the phone to me saying, Oh come on Alana, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Come to the party, we're waiting for you. And I was like, OMG it's Donald Trump. Men like him scare me because they have so much power and this was way before his presidential nomination. So I bailed on them and turned my phone off, she shares. The next days, Daniels allegedly told Evans about her night together with Trump. She tells me, all I'm going to say is, I ended up with Donald in his hotel room. Picture him chasing me around his hotel room in his tighty waddies. I was like, oh I really didn't need to hear that. Then she said he offered her keys to his condos in Florida, and I was like, wow guess you had a good night, and that was the last we ever spoke of it, she says. According to the publication, the alleged Trump Daniels affair has been confirmed by two other sources, one close to Daniels, and one in the adult industry. Responding to the reports, Trump's lawyer Michael Cohen does not address the $130,000 payment, but says in an email, These rumors have circulated time and again since 2011. President Trump once again vehemently denies any such occurrence as has Miss Daniels. He also releases a statement dated January 10 and signed by Clifford in which she said that her involvement with Mr. Trump was limited to a few public appearances, and that allegations that I had a sexual and or romantic affair with Mr. Trump many, many, many years ago were completely false. The statement added, rumors that I have received hush money from Donald Trump are completely false. The White House says in a statement, these are old, recycled reports which were published and strongly denied prior to the election 